second half. I just wanted to tell you a little story because it's really true that uh, Bob's uh, sister is, was my mother. And, uh, so, my, so, so my whole life I, I have had the great uh, opportunity to, to know this man and each, each time to get to know him a little bit better, to get to know the music more. Uh, when, when I was a little kid, like five, six, seven years old, he came to town and I had no idea who Bob DeRoe was. And uh, this, I was born in 1956. Uncle Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Robert uh, comes to town. And th by this time, he'd already written Devil May Care. But Devil May Care was, was recorded, the album was recorded the year that I was born in 1956. And I remember seeing it always in my, my parents' collection of LPs. And then later on, uh, just about everything, all these famous covers of this man, and I didn't really get it in those days. Uh, and then I moved to New York City when I was 19, and Bob was always playing in different little clubs. And sometimes he would inform me, and I'd get a little little piece of, of post from him telling me I, I'm going to play here, so I would try to gather my student friends, and we'd collect our money and go and see Bob DeRoe. But one night, I was walking with a friend of mine who was really a New Yorker, uh, and, and, and his parents had, had money. And I was telling him about Bob. And he was, he was saying, come on, I, I've heard of his name here in, in New York City. This is not really your uncle. I'm saying, no, really, I'm not kidding you. This is really my uncle. And at the moment, we're, we're walking towards New York University, and, and we're passing Bradley's. It's a little piano bar, not, not, not quite this big, right, Bob? Big, yeah. it's, it's about this big, but with tape. Yeah, it's food, though. And I walk past him. <laughs> yeah, good food. <laughs> That's very important. So I walk past him, and, and I just happen to look. This is Bradley's. He sometimes plays here. And I look in, and he's sitting at the piano. So he, that time he didn't inform me, and I look and I said, "That's him right there." I didn't tell you about that game. That's right. He's sitting at the piano. He said, you're, "Come on, you're you're pulling my leg. This is not possible. It's not your uncle." I said, "Come on, we're going in." There happened to be a table right at the front, and we sat down really quickly. And and the next song, Bob says, "Well, um, I would like to dedicate this uh, song." Uh, to my nephew because he just came in in the door. <laughs> my friend, he's like, he cannot believe this. And then three songs later, Bob says, ladies and gentlemen, we want to bring up a special guest. Uh, Jaco Pasteros is going to come up and play the bass. And then I fell over. <laughs> I couldn't believe my uncle was playing, the coolest guy on the planet is playing with, with, with Jaco Pastorius. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are really, really, as we say in English, really fucking lucky. <laughs> Tonight, one more time, in Berlin, Bob DeRoe, the coolest uncle in the world. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I think we ought to do you the one who sat in with him the other night. Jeff, my favorite nephew. Come back, Jeff. I think we can handle this room. You don't need a mic. You think so? He, he sang this song with me uh, in Oldenburg. You know Oldenburg. I'll help you, don't worry. Okay, do it, do it. One, two.
Thank you. 